Midtown City Skyline, Midtown, Midtown Manhattan. From Bear Mountain, New Jersey, 60 miles upstate. Where is the curvature? Where? Okay folks, this is another video from Conundrum. This is going to be a detailed review of the clip regarding the New York skyline from Bear Mountain. Many people have misunderstood the, the video I made with the big lighters, the big lighter videos. And the reason is because they thought that I was reenacting the New York skyline clip. But this is not the reason why I did the big lighter clip. The reason I did that is to show everybody how difficult it is to discern such small inclination angles like 0 0.5 degrees, 0 0.6 degrees from 60 kilometers away. It is almost impossible. I've never heard of anybody that can do that. So anyway, that's that. The big lighter experiment is designed to give you an idea of what to expect from your eyes at such distances and such small angles. I mean, the Tower of Pisa is inclined at four or five degrees and that's perceptible. But uh, in order for us to discern a two degree angle naturally occurring angle of inclination due to the curvature of the earth we'd have to look at an object that's 230 kilometers away and how are we gonna do that and that's only a two degree angle at such a great distance the videos that promote the flat earth theory they're full of these iffy and uh, dubious insinuations that are presented as evidence of lack of curvature what am i gonna rely on somebody's perception for me to believe something i'm gonna rely on some artist's perception and i'm gonna take that as proof of lack of curvature anyway this is the reason why i'm doing this video in this video, I'm going to look more closely at the mathematics of the New York skyline from Bear Mountain clip. So this is the Earth. I did this to scale and this is where everything is happening is to scale all the details are here the Empire State Building dimensions and uh, Bear Mountain dimensions Bear Mountain is on the left Empire State Building is on the right if we draw perpendiculars through each point they will join at the center of the earth at an angle of 0 0.56 degrees this is the angle of declination at the Empire State Building, declining away from Bear Mountain. Also, I've gone into more detail regarding the angles. I've taken into consideration uh, the elevation of Empire State Building. It doesn't make much difference. It's only 0 0.05 degree difference, but I've taken that into consideration. I also calculated the line of sights from uh, different points from point uh, A and B, we'll look at them in a minute. Let's go to the Empire State Building. Okay, the green part is basically the elevation at the Empire State Building, which is 20 meters above sea level. The squares are just square angles to show you that uh, it is lying flat and it is inclined. It has an inclination. All right, let's go to Bear Mountain. All right, this is Bear Mountain with all information. And we have two points of interest here, A and B. This uh, angle we're already familiar with. There's another angle that I calculated, 
wanting to be more precise and it's the angle theta it's the declination line that joins a point on the Bear Mountain which is at 380 meters and the base of the Empire State Building this line can be shown here both angles meet at the base of the Empire State Building okay and we can see the two angles here 0 0.61 degrees is the angle that joins point A to the base of the Empire State Building and 0.56 degrees is the angle that joins point B to the base of the Empire State Building and both of these angles have a common perpendicular at point C here there's a right angle going all the way to a Empire State Building and coming back to two different places each angle is different 0.56 and 0.61 degrees respectively the 0.56 degree angle joins at point B and point B is 324.32 meters high as opposed to the other angle which hits point A which is 380 meters high which is a better match for the video concerned for anyone interested in uh, the calculations here they are you can pause the screen let's have a look here if we set a camera up and we make sure that it's level at point A then the line of sight will not be perpendicular to the building as you can see the, the red line coming out from the camera hits the Empire State Building making a 90.56 degree angle with the face of the building the perceived inclination will only be 0.56 degrees away from us this is almost impossible to perceive at near distances never mind 62 kilometers away as was proven by the big experiment but if the camera is inclined just 0.61 degrees down from being level then the line of sight will be almost perpendicular to the building so if we incline our camera, let's take a look at the camera. If we incline the camera downwards, just, just over half a degree, then we get an angle of 89.95 degrees, which is almost perpendicular. It's 90 minus 89.95 is 0 0.05 degrees leaning towards us. The building seems to be leaning towards us in this case. It's almost zero inclination. It's as if you're looking at it straight on. The calculation, by the way, is, the, is also the difference between the angle of declination from where we're standing down towards the Empire State Building minus a 0 0.56 degree angle which we have between us between Bear Mountain and Empire State Building which is interesting to note which makes me wonder why people think the earth is flat because if you incline your camera just over half a degree you're cancelling out any curvature that's there that you're looking for did you think about this before actually the building in this case in this scenario is leaning towards us not away from us that's interesting to think about
Now, if we go down, if we move down to point B, we were in point A before, now we're going down to point B. Point B is at 324.32 meters elevation. Point A was at 380 meters height. Now, if the camera is level at point B, then the line of sight will not be perpendicular to the building. The perceived inclination will be only 0.56 degrees away from us. This is almost impossible to perceive at near distances, never mind 62 kilometers away. So the angle is exactly the same as in the first example. At point A, when we have a level camera, it's exactly the same as point B, again with a level camera. The angle of incidence is the same. So we're perceiving the true 0.56 degree inclination that the Empire State Building should have from the natural inclination due to the curvature of the Earth. So with the level camera, the real inclination will always be captured. But if the camera is inclined just 0.56 degrees downwards from being level, then the line of sight will be exactly perpendicular to the building. Why is that? Because the Empire State Building has a declination of 0.56 degrees with respect to point B. So 90 degrees minus 90 degrees is zero, so it's perfectly straight, or 0.56 degrees minus 0.56 degrees, which is the angle exactly perpendicular to the building. So we're hitting the Empire State Building at a right angle, 90 degrees. So the effective inclination in this case is zero, which is 90 minus 90, or 0.56 degrees, the angle of declination of the Empire State Building from our position, minus the central angle between the two locations, which is 0.56 minus 0.56 gives us a zero effective inclination. It's as if we're looking at it straight on. So you can understand now how easy it is when somebody does not level their camera, how easy it is for them to cancel out any curvature, any inclination while looking for it. It's very easy if you don't level your camera, if you don't have a perfect level, you're looking for needles in a haystack with inaccurate equipment. It is very difficult, it's almost impossible to measure inclination angles at such great distances, 62.4 kilometers. Can, such small deviations can affect the outcome so greatly. So, unless you have perfectly calibrated equipment for leveling and uh, measuring angles, how you can achieve that with such great difficulty and such uh, small tolerance for error? So again, this is uh, an experiment that you can do to convince yourselves how difficult it is to measure inclination angles from such great distances. You can take a big lighter, put two sheets of printed paper under it on one side of the base so that it's tilted. Take your camera, move away to a distance of 8.7 meters, keep your camera level, maybe put it on the floor, do everything on the floor. Use your camera zoom as you wish and have a look if you can find any inclination. I think you'll find out that trying to make out the inclination of an object at a great distance is going to prove very, very tricky indeed. I'd say close to impossible. There's so many factors at play. No, we have to look elsewhere. These are gimmicks made to sensationalize. There's nothing scientific about these things. There's nothing scientific about a person's perception.
York City skyline, Midtown, Midtown Manhattan. From Bear Mountain, New Jersey, 60 miles upstate. Where is the curvature? Where?